What's going on guys today we are taking a first look at big time now big time is a massive mmo rpg nft play to earn game which is a bit different to most of the other projects out there early access started yesterday for gold pass members and right now you can pick up a gold pass for as little as 2.6 eth they also have the silver passes for around about 0.3 which i believe is a great price and the jade pass is just under 0.08 wrapped ETH in Polygon. So as mentioned, Big Time is a massive multiplayer action RPG game where you can team up with your friends and adventure around time and space. There are several different classes that you can sort of level up and change on the fly. All of your items in game will be NFTs and you can level up your character with your skill tree accordingly. So you can upgrade your own personal time machine that you can decorate with legendary artifacts from across the space and time. These guys did a land sale. It was the first sale that they brought. I managed to get some legendary land. The price has since dipped, so I believe it's still very good value for money to pick up some land while it's still in beta launch. I imagine once this thing goes fully live, with the 400,000 people in their Discord and 200,000 people on their Twitter alone, it's probably going to pick up some traction. So why is this game so important? One, the team behind it have worked on Fortnite, God of War, Call of Duty, Overwatch, Epic Games, Blizzard, and EA. They are a very established team. They've been working on big time for over a year now. So far, every date that they've put out there, they've hit, which is a massive thing in this space. The subtle onboarding that this is going to bring, let me just show you the marketplace here. So it's a very, very subtle onboarding for people that are new to both crypto and NFTs. You can purchase everything with US dollar with a straight bank transfer, or you can transfer over some USDT. So if I just click this, select to buy, it's going to tell me that I have insufficient funds and I can add more funds by simply making a bank transfer or depositing some USDC. Now, that is a very seamless process for somebody that's never used NFT or crypto before. Another great thing that I believe about this project is they are not using their own in-game currency. It's not listed on any DEX exchange or anything like that. The ecosystem itself runs on the NFTs, or at least that's how it is at the moment. Who knows in future if they're going to bring out their own token. You would have thought that they're probably going to tokenize it. But if we have a look at the marketplace at the moment, you can see these NFTs are listed at some insane prices. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to sell, but that's what it's listed at now. Now, if there's multiple items listed, if you click this one, select to buy, you can see there's multiples there. So we say once you buy up the bottom five, then that floor price gets pretty high pretty quickly. Obviously, that's the gold pass. You can buy it on OpenSea, so you're probably not going to buy that in game. But you see where I'm going with it. And you can see these are the land plots as well. So you can see their mythic large space is $2,990. Like I said, these prices have come down. People were spending a lot more on land two, three months ago. And there's definitely a bear market with NFTs across the board. So I believe great value for money. Now the gold pass, the people that are playing at the moment, they've been playing for one day so far. And the gold pass, obviously you can buy for 2.6 ETH. Now, if we have a look at this early access medium article, it shows you here what is accessible with the gold pass. So members of the gold pass get four weeks of alpha or beta gameplay before the silver pass and eight weeks before Jade and 10 weeks before the general public or beta. I'm not exactly sure how they're doing that, but the fact this is normal and there's no mint pass for it, I should imagine that that is open to the public. So in gold, you can see that you can find legendary, epic, and rare NFTs with exclusive NFTs as well. And you can see that they've branded the drop rate as insane, mega, and then great. At the moment, we're sat in Jade, so we'll be able to play in two months' time. And we'll still be able to get some NFTs, but we'll assess the situation and the popularity, and potentially we'll pick up a silver pass and get in there and start earning some of these NFTs. You have to remember... This ecosystem runs off NFT sales alone. So when all of the people that come in here 
that didn't get the mint pass and start playing the game because their friends are playing it or they've heard that people have made money. And you got to think, a team like this, with the money that they're going to make from the launch of this game, you can imagine how big marketing is going to be. It will onboard a lot of new people to the space. So getting these early NFTs could probably be very, very profitable in the long run. I'm pretty sure you will still be able to get some of these really legendary and exotic NFTs with this Jade Pass. I just think it will be a lot lower drop rate to actually find that NFT. If we flick over to their Twitter, you can see as well they have some early access streaming schedule. I suggest everybody jump over to their Twitter now. Make sure that you're following them and watch these Twitch streams because it's showing you different game mechanics, dungeons, combat. There's Q&As. There's lots of stuff going on. I managed to find a little bit of a clip. I'm just going to play this. I don't want to get into too much trouble. Once we get our beta access, we'll be making content on this, no doubt. But you can see there, if I just will that back up, you can see there that he's got the NFT in his items. He's just found it in his inventory. And you can see it has a mint number there. So every item you pick up in game is an NFT that you are free to sell on the marketplace as you please. So maybe you wait until you have double and you sell the one that you don't need. Or maybe you sell everything you find to harvest as much gold or US dollar as possible so that you can buy the items you need. This is a very good project for a guild, especially getting in early with lots of land plots and stuff like that. You can farm the hell out of this game early, in my opinion. I think the, the artwork itself is cool. It's kind of MMOE. I can see it getting very competitive down the path. It seems to run quite smooth. I haven't seen any frame rates or anything like that. And again, I haven't seen too much chaotic gameplay, but so far, so good. So again, check out their stream times, check out the game. I recommend probably following all of their socials, join the Discord as well. Keep a close eye on this project because like I said, it has massive potential to onboard a lot of new people. And the more people that get onboarded, you would like to think the more expensive those Genesis NFTs are going to be worth in the long run. And also, it's still probably worthwhile picking up that Jade Pass, in my opinion, for less than 0.08 ETH. It's just a few hundred dollars and potentially those NFTs that you get in that two-week spree, if you've got game time, could potentially pay for itself. Like I said, once we get access, we will bring you guys some gameplay content and also a first look at the actual game mechanics. And we will be doing more research into the game as well to bring you more information for the next episode. So as always, guys, like and subscribe. Make sure that you follow our Twitter if you don't already. Give us a comment down below if you want some more big time footage. And as always, invest smart.